Hi, Crafty Friends. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, happy Monday. Happy Monday. All right. So I only give it about 30 seconds. If you're watching the replay, go ahead and fast forward. Um, no problem. I want you to get from this video what you need from this video. And of course, all the likes and the loves and the subscribing is all greatly appreciated. All right. So I'm going to do, ooh, let's see if I can get, you can't see the desk. I'm fixing it. All right, let's do this. Hi, crafty friends. I'm Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi. Welcome to the Crafty Corner and a little Monday night. Well, we're not crafting. It's not a mini class. It is an unboxing. Yay! We have a new catalog, a new mini catalog. Um, I do have these in stock, so if you need a mini catalog and you would like me to send you one or you live in the Frederick area and you want to pick one up or depending on where you live, I might be able to drop one off. Um, let me know. Hey there, Carol. All right, so um, the only, okay, well, let me organize. All right, today is Monday, August 7th, 2023. Hey, Jill, welcome. Um, so our new catalog starts on September, hold on. did you see me squinting? Totally, I was squinting. It starts on September 6th. So if you're not a demonstrator, starting on September 6th, you can order. If you are a demonstrator, you can order now. Um, and if you're not a demonstrator, but you want to be a demonstrator, let me know. I'll help you out. Um, you could definitely go on my website, audramonk.stampinup.net, and you could uh, get that going. All right, so we are going to jump in. Hold on. Actually, we're going to jump in, but I'm fixing something really fast. Ooh, you know what? Hold on. Let's see if I can. Am I too zoomed in? All right. Let me go up a little bit. Ah, okay, you can't see all the fun stuff I'm doing. I'm making sure the table is good. Okay, let's go down the table. We're just, hey, Tanya, hey, Zaina, welcome. Okay, so from me, let me go to the desk real quick. Um, whoa, that was pretty crazy. Okay, let's see if I can press all the buttons. There we go. All right, so this is our pretty new catalog. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. Okay, but from me, right now, um... The only offering I have right now is the Maker's Mojo um, Card Palooza class. Uh, these are two of the cards where we made 10, and they're beautiful. I don't know if you know Wendy Lee. She loves a fun fold. And so there's some fun folds. There's some shaker cards. Um, and there's a bunch of just fun cards using all the memories and more. We will uh, cut anything that is not memories and more for you. And it's a very detailed PDF. Um, and if you're interested, take a look. Um... I did not put it under events. I did not. Um, I did a post, and I'm going to do a post tomorrow. So um, let me know, if, or just message me. Message me, email me, I will let you know. All right, so here is our pretty catalog. I cannot show you the inside, but it's beautiful. Look at all those beautiful pages. So many beautiful pages. So we're going to jump in. So as a demonstrator, we get to pre-order. Um, I do not order the whole thing. I know there are demos that do, and you know, if you really got to see everything, do it. But I order what brings me joy, and so I'm going to show you that stuff. And it might help you make your list because you might be like, oh no, I don't want that one, or you're going to be like, oh yeah, I need that one. All right, so I've got it in my little box here, and I'm just going to pick something to start with. All right, so we're going to start with a big sweep. This one's a big one. A big one. Look at all this. Anything else? And this. Okay. So we have a couple. Let me see. Do they call it? Okay. I got to look in my hot. Uh, I don't know. if they, I would call it like a make a sweep. I don't know what they call it. Let me look. Uh, page 23. Just to see if there's a special word I'm supposed to be using. All right. It just says very Christmas sweet collection. Let me go look at a different one that's not so big. Oh, no. That one's big. Um. Um, all right, I don't know. So it's a sweet collection when you get all this stuff. I really like this one. I think it's so pretty. So let's see. We'll start with the stamp. Look at this. Oh, and I got this new light. So there's always, I'm trying to find the place. Okay. <laughs> the place where there's less of that circle. I like the light for crafting and for the main part of showing videos. But when you have something shiny, it's a little bit tricky. Hey, Cheryl, welcome. All right, so very cute. I love these um, fonts. Christmas is better together. Merry Christmas, warm wishes. There's a little presents. And there's three cute little bear stamps, but there is only one bear punch. So it would punch out the big bear, the walking bear, this guy. Oops, it would be that way. Okay, 
Oh, it's on your list, Jill. Yay! Oh, her very first Stampin' Up! order was a polar bear Christmas set. That is so fun. Um, there's a pretty little tree. That's easy to fussy cut out. Cute little scarf you can put on the bears. And you have the punch. And so this bear, I mean, I'm not a purist on bears. I'm not a bear expert. I feel like you can make this be a brown bear, a black bear, a grizzly bear, a polar bear. And it's probably all okay. Because they make it be a polar bear. All right, so that is the stamp and the punch. There's a really pretty, soft, sparkly ribbon. It's a little bit thick. I think we had a petal pink ribbon like this once before, but it wasn't sparkly. And it's balmy blue is the color. Which way? That way is the color. Okay, there is a, I'm very excited about this um, embossing folder. Let's see if I can get, yeah, see all those? So it's little dots plus little snowflakes. And it's a 3D embossing folder. I like that. These made me super happy. Oh, let's take the bag off. I took the bag off of everything is like open, but except for the embellishments. Okay. So look at that. They are very sparkly. And what colors are they? It doesn't say. So I would go with balmy blue, silver, and whatever kind of green. We'll find out from the paper. But I do want to stick it right back in because I don't want to lose any. And it looks like there are two sizes. Yeah. Oh, good. See, there's two sizes of all. The small ones and the bigger ones. Okay, so I am going to put those back in real Oh, no, I'm not going to put them back in real fast because I'm like ripping the bag. Okay, so ribbon, embellishments, stamp and punch. Then in the berry set are the memories and more. We're going to go ahead and open these, um, which is like what that uh, Maker's Mojo class is on because sometimes they're, Stampin' Up! is making these kind of where you can do two things with them. They're great for scrapbooking, and then they're also great for making quick, easy cards. Or if you have uh, your demonstrators <laughs> go a little over, um, you make beautiful, beautiful cards, and they are lovely. So you get two of each one usually, and one side will have more pictures, and one side will be more words. Oh, I love this color palette. It's so, oh, look at that. Oh, so there's four. Oh, five. Six, okay, these are totally made so that you can make quick Christmas cards. So you know what I'm gonna do is, you know how you have that problem where you get close to the end of your Christmas cards and then you get a card in the mail from someone and maybe it's like later December and you're over making cards, but if you have these, you could make up a couple really quick. There are, oh, okay, they are vice wrapped, which is good, <laughs> which is very good. There are envelopes and card bases so the card bases it looks like they come into oh no three colors three co no two okay I see it was just the other way so like an ombre red painted on and then kind of a sparkly uh, blue they're white in the inside so you don't have to put something in the inside unless you want to and the envelopes it looks like what do we get Okay, so you get stripey on the inside and you get that cute little print. Ooh, I hope that paper is in this DSP. And then you get snowflakes for the other ones. All right, so it looks like you get, and I'm not gonna count, but I, I don't know, that was like six of those big ones. Something like that. Oh, look at this one. Christmas is better together. That's so cute. And there's snowflakes. And then one of the things I love, ooh, yes, look at this. Are, are they all the same? No, so there's two of each one. These are stickers, and they are so fun to help you make quick cards. All right, and then there are, so funny, I can't stand in the right spot because my box, the box flap is poking me in the hip. And then there's small ones, and it looks like the same, where they gave, so normally you get two in a pack in the regular ones. Ooh, North Pole notes, I like that. Little presents, may your Christmas be cozy. Oh, that's so pretty. Good tidings and warm wishes. What's on the back of that one? There we go. So fun little cards. So definitely if you ordered uh, this part, you could totally make a lot of cute cards without a lot of extra work. Um, all right, hold on, catalog. I gotta make a place to pile the stuff that we have seen. Ooh, and I almost forgot a couple things. Hold on, throw those in the box. Okay. All right, so we have those. And then lastly, designer series paper. It is my number one favorite thing of Stampin' Up. So let us take a look 
and see what we have. So traditionally with Stampin' Up! one side has more images, so I'm betting the punch will punch that cute little uh, bear out. You could fussy cut these other little guys out. Look at that one. Oh, the little, that would be great for a scrapbook page. Like, and then just put your pictures, just mat them with uh, balmy blue and put them at the top. Oh, that would be super cute. Okay, this is the paper I'm excited about. So it is like on those cards. I love that, very traditional looking. Oh, look at this one, so cute. That one's almost random enough that you could cut card fronts out and it would work and they would just be a little bit different. And then nice snowflakes. Oop, and there's one more. Okay, oh, all these presents, that's very cute. All right, and then we're gonna flip them over and we'll see what it looks like. Ooh la la, so pretty. So that pattern in green, uh, cute little like snow uh, print footprints, little trees, I like that one. This is cute. You got your seal and your foxes and your, I don't know if that's a deer or an elk. Okay, and this one guy is wearing a sweater. That's pretty funny. And then you got some blue snowflakes and some blue zigzaggy lines. Oh, such a nice paper. And I want to know what the green is. Let's see. The green is mossy meadow it's old olive that was my guess old olive so I bet these little sparkles are old olive right yep okay so that is the paper so this is a big uh, big sweet this whole very cute thing and it is very cute <laughs> all right we did not the maneuvering of all of your products is always an interesting adventure okay and I'll need that all right so that's first one Let's go with a couple smaller ones. And I'm going to bounce around from holidays. I was trying to decide, do I do just Christmas and then do the fall? or And then I decided I'm just going to bounce all around. So one of the products that I was most excited to order was the Pick of the Patch Bundle. So it is a punch. Let's do it this way. Um, a big, uh, this, this pumpkin... Is, is everything for me. There's a big pumpkin, a little fat pumpkin, the little thing for the leaf. And what is that? Oh, it's a stem. It's the stem. All right, do I have a, you, I can't believe I just said this. Do I have a piece of paper? Wouldn't that be the funniest question to ask a paper crafter? So yes, look at that. A fat pump, oh, but you can't see those. Hold on. Oh, well, I'll put them on top of the catalog. So look, a uh, fat pumpkin, a regular pumpkin you could do the leaf or you could do the stem so you could totally make these with the appropriate colors and sponge them and just just go that could be super fun oh my gosh they're so cute and then look at all the other fun stuff in here a harvest of blessings cutie pie you're the pick of the patch happy Halloween thanks so much that crow is adorable jack-o-lantern face fun little squiggles Ooh, like a little tree and a little leaf and this is a photopolymer so it'll be quick and easy to use um, I don't know this was number one well maybe not number one but it was super high on my list hello Jean welcome all right so pick of the patch <laughs> I'm telling you we're gonna bounce around the holidays for sure oh, let's move this back out of the way all right so if there's a tree set I think I got them all <laughs> like every tree set if it had trees in it I probably should have calmed down and only got like one of them, but I definitely got a couple. So this is Marius Trees, and I'm gonna show you why I got this one. These dies are amazing, my friends. So I got this because look, three sizes of trees. Ooh, what is this little bonus for the top? Hmm, I'm gonna have to look that up in the catalog. That is intriguing. Uh, maybe because you wanna put snow on it or something. I'd, oh, and look, there's a little tree. Four sizes of trees. I don't know what this I am very intrigued by what this why there's this little one but um the tree dies were so amazing and then this you're like what is this and you know oh thank you Christine um, I don't normally like fiddly but this makes the garland to go around your tree and then there are little ornaments which you could stamp right you could stamp it they're very little let's pull this up look at that you could stamp them. There's a star. There's some little teeny snowflakes. 
hoping your home is filled with the spirit of the season. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, look, I bet that fits. Maybe that fits in that tree. That's very cute. Because I haven't had time to play with it. And then you can put this overlay on top of the big tree. There could be a steak. Love and joy. Mm, I love that. So I really like this one. And then there's a little basket. Um, I don't know what that does, but I will find out later. Little snowflakes. So it was the dies on this one for me. I mean, I like the stamp set too. And I love the sentiments. But it was really to get those fun Christmas tree dies that I was, that one was high on my list. All right, what's next? Oh, we have another one of these big sweets. Okay, let's see if I can get it all out at the same time without dropping it. Okay, so this is the only one I opened because it actually came early. There was a shipping issue, and um, so I, I had time to look at this one a little bit yesterday. The others all just arrived today at like 3 o'clock. So this one has two stamp sets and two sets of dies. So Night Divine is a red rubber set with all of these sentiments okay so you don't really need the dies if you don't want them but wait till I show them to you right so very traditional um your religious sentiments joy and peace well I use joy and peace all the time the Lord is so if you want bible verses oh holy night the stars are brightly shining oh I love that hi Anne from Australia um Oh, Jean Fitch is thinking I might be talking her to Mary Street, and I want to play with it. This week I'm hoping to play with things, and um, I'm going to be away at the end of August, so I'm going to try to pre-record some videos so that you guys can get some product spotlights. So this Night Divine goes with, so this is the one I die cut, the um, nativity scene, which is called Night Divine Dies because they go together. Um, I did die cut them out, but I didn't have time to do anything with them. They are super cute. Look, there's a camel. You get the whole little scene. There's a super cute little sheepy, a little lying down cow, a lying down donkey. What else is in there? There are two little clouds. I like that they have those little swirls in them. So if you need clouds for something else, um, go here. And then a really cute little stable. Look at that. It's like a card. So I'm thinking some kind of cute little framed art would be super fun with this. But look at me thinking outside the box. This little stable, couldn't you see this as a wedding card? Like a gazebo with just flowers and then you write Mr. or Mrs. or find a wedding sentiment to put in there. So anytime you need a gazebo kind of feel, I feel like that. So anyway, I thought they were super, super cute. And so I kind of had to get them. Look at them all. They're lovely. Okay, so that is that. Um, I'll show you all the paper at the same time. Next is Stars at Night. This one, wishing you the best and brightest holiday season. I'm gonna use that little puppy. It's not a puppy, but that little die, that little stamp so often because look at this, a beautiful die cut for it. You can use it on any kind of card. I think it's gonna be really cool. And this, which I haven't played with yet, is one of those um, hybrid embossing folders where, oh, look at that. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look what they did to make it easier. I was thinking, how do you place all those dies in there? Okay, so you're gonna wanna get this off carefully. That is the three stars. And it goes on there. And then you cut and emboss at the same time. Um, just like uh, the lemon and lime one and the tree rings one. So you can, and you could just, just emboss your paper and it's fine. Or you could have these stars be that 3D emboss. And there's a bunch of other star things. I'm not going to try to stick this back on there. Kind of goes like that. So lots of little stars and little sparkle feel of things. But let's see if I can put it in the envelope so I don't lose it. So I thought that was really fun, and um, I like the little greeneries. Celebrating the magic of the season, I think that's really pretty. And this is a photopolymer set. Okay, so that's that whole little part. There are cute little gold sparkle stars. Oh, there it is. I was like, one of mine is missing, but it fell down. Okay, they're very cute. 
the ribbon. Let me show you this ribbon. So we have a white sparkle ribbon that you can get in the Yes, Jean. Sorry, where I'm a, I saw her comment. A pergola with twining flowers. Yes, that's what I was thinking. That you could do with that little arbor thing. I think it's so pretty. But we have a sparkle white ribbon, and this is now gold and knight of navy. It is very, very pretty. It's a little bit wider, but it is super pretty ribbon. Okay. It's so funny. You're gonna. I don't know if you'll be surprised. All right. This designer sheet paper. I'm. I was kind of like. It's okay. It's not the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's okay, but I'm gonna show it to you. Um, but the second one is awesome. All right, so we have our big pictures. You could use on your scrapbook or make a big 12 by 12 or you know nine by nine frame. I like this, I think this is pretty. Um, I just don't like that this one is, it's so funny, I like the picture with the bears, but with the stars, I was like, yeah, it's okay. But look at that, I like those stars. And I like the blue swish. You could use this blue swish with anything, which is nice. There's more stars, and there you got a little like town of Bethlehem at the bottom. I like that. Maybe it's just I don't like the first one. Okay, and I got I put my water over here. It has a lid on it, but I'm gonna move it out of the way in a second. And then more stars on blue. Okay, and then let's flip this over. Ooh, that looks so pretty. See, that's where my light is so nice. It shines nicely on that. But look at this. I think you could use these for like almost anything. These would make great masculine cards. Um, and is that blue? Yeah, that's, oh, there's a pattern on there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, let's see if we can see the pattern. Yeah, see that? So like there's a pattern underneath those swishes. So I think these are really kind of fun and not necessarily, like, to me, I could get fall cards. I don't know, I, I like the back sides on that. But what really, and you could like the other sides, it's totally fine. But what really made me excited was this. Although I'm a little sad because I looked and I think, hold on, I lost my little who am I? But the, I think there's only one of each one. And this is the one that I was like, who knew I was going to like this so much? So it's gold foil. And yeah, there's only one of each kind. All really pretty. Look at those stars. I like those stars a lot. And then look at this pretty one. So pretty. So it's on vanilla. It's funny. <laughs> My box is shoving me all the way again. And you get those same stars, like the navy one, but on the vanilla. And then that looks like the same leaf. So I see. It's the same papers in navy and in vanilla. And there's nothing on the back because these are one-sided. So why did they do this? One, two, did they just give you six of these instead of 12? I don't know, but I kind of like these. All right, so that is the whole um, Holy Night Suite. You know what, I better put these back in. So it's a big one. So both uh, that and the bear one are really big with lots of stuff. Okay, what's next? <laughs> I see trees. Okay, so we're we're going back to tree land. I think the problem was I like them all. I kind of so then you got your nature trees, right? And this is a beautiful red rubber stamp set. Look at that. This one's huge. Three trees, a whole bunch of trees, one little tree, snow, little moon and stars, and I guess like a little tiny hill. So this one is called Forever Forest. And look at the dyes. Look at the dice, my friends. So you get a mountain and you get these. Oh, I wonder. Let's look. All right, let's do that. So this would obviously do the outline. But then I feel like you would, you could put that on top of your stamped image maybe. I don't know. And it gives you texture because it doesn't look connected. So this is one I'm definitely going to test out. I think that looks really cool. And then this big tree is really nice. Um, there's little rocks. There's little stars. There's also little clouds in this one. But this mountain. And it has texture. Look. So that's going to print in or imprint raise up in your paper. So I think that looks really fun. So yes. Oops. I said yes to all the trees. Okay. I oh, and this is my tip. If you don't put these on magnetic sheets, 
You should always store, you could turn the thing right side up, store your dies like this because then they don't stick to the paper and it's easy to pop them off of the plastic. So just a little tip for you if you're not putting them on something else, store them this way. Okay, and then as we speak for the trees, I got the Fragrant Forest, which is a ginormous, look at it. It is a background stamp, but it's red rubber. Look at all that detail. We're going to get that when we stamp, 100%. And so imagine you just stamp this. You could do it straight in its color because you're going to get lights and darks. You could also do the thing where you stamp it and you use your dauber and put ink around the edges. But imagine that you put a pretty little sentiment, a little ribbon, you're good to go. So that when you don't want to do all the extra stuff, you could do something really pretty. So fragrant for us. And this was $20. I, I like that. Just a nice big stamp. All right, what do we got next? So oh, this one was one of my favorites. So, okay, so, and it's so weird because this is not my normal style. Well, I, no, I don't know if I have a normal, I have a little bit of a style, but I don't know that I would normally have picked this, but I just adore it. First of all, look at both of those um, sentiment pieces. You could easily, there's no dies. You could easily cut those out and it's already built in. This fits right here. May your joy be bright. So pretty so pretty hold on you know what I didn't oh good the volumes I was like I'm all whispering because I'm all excited but um, a little leaf a little bow some things and these candles are so pretty and if you want to color you could color if you don't really want to color I think that's fine and there's a sample in the catalog which I think would make a great Hanukkah card where they put these two together and they I think they did maybe they fussy cut them or stamp them I don't know I can't show you until the catalog goes live but this one is really pretty and it's red rubber it is going to stamp absolutely beautifully. I may have to design a little class around that because this is easy for people to get just by one stamp set. You'll need a bunch of coloring tools probably, but this is, is very pretty, radiant light. So if it's not on your list, I think it's 23 bucks. Put it on your list. All right, let's take a, ooh, let's take a jump into autumn. All right, make sure I got it all. Yes, okay, autumn, let's do it. We gotta break up our Christmas. Okay, so this is my autumn one that I uh, adored. A beautiful embossing folder where, and it's a little distressed, so I guess distressed is the deal. Um, two ribbons, this is the, oh, I didn't open these. I tried to open all the things so I wouldn't have to do this. This is the ribbon I was excited about right here. This, I assume it's copper, I don't know, and I'm not gonna look it up. <laughs> It doesn't really matter and then this is like a burlap so it's not a specific stampin up color oh it's so soft this is very very soft I love it but this is the one that really excited me look how shiny that is it's shiny it's very malleable it's gonna make great bows great little knots so that is a beautiful little ribbon two pack all right, let's talk about the stamp set. Look at this, so pretty. I'm thankful Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful with a grateful heart for all. So, oh, I look, look, I'm thankful for all you do. I'm thankful today and every day. The, okay, I was gonna say this has to be smaller. It's at 80%. All right, so that means those words are bigger because I was like, those words are really little. Some of us are not gonna be able to read them. There they are. And here's the I'm thankful. So that's another thing to check on your stamp case. This says um, 80%. And then you've got the little two-step. I think you could stamp these leaves just by themselves and they're great. But if you want to add the little spines or veins to them, totally can. Look at the dies. Okay, so a little texture die with little dots. Look, these have the little dots around the edges for the sentiments. That will cut out your teeny tiny sentiments. You have dies for... Um, all the leaves right there's three leaves there's bonus leaves there's two of those here's your little veiny things oh this is a bonus leaf too look at that so two sets of bonus leaves and then a little thing to add texture oh these are bonus leaves oh my goodness all the leaves all the leaves so pretty you know you got to get a pumpkin set and a leaf set and that's what I got there's some other cute uh, uh, fall autumn things but this is what called to me cute little speckled dots Let's see if I can show them a little bit closer so speckled dots 
Look at those. Those are pretty. So they have a little more dimension in them because of the speckles. That's probably copper clay. I think that's becoming fast, one of my favorite colors. All right, and then we get two papers. Let's do this big paper first, and we'll do the little, um, obviously this is a very photorealistic paper, oxidized copper. So we've had different ones in the last couple years of this style of paper, which is very fun and very pretty. And I'm pretty sure we get two of each, so let's see. Yes, okay, but this one, they should have just made a whole pack of this one. Look at that. It's beautiful. And these are just one-sided. Oh, this is the one. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. So let's put those away. So one cool thing in the catalog is if, say, you like this whole suite, you can order it with one number. You don't have to type in, like, the seven different numbers. Um, just one number. And then lastly, we have the All About Autumn you know, I'm disappointed it's six by six because I love a 12 by 12 paper. It just makes it easier when you're doing classes and planning more of one, but I can make it work. So you get four of each. Oh, this is divine, my friends. It is so pretty and so sparkly. All right, I'm on the fence about that one. Ooh, look at that pinkish one. All right, I am in love with the copper, yep. That copper color, especially with the gold, is so pretty. And look at that pretty peacock. All right, so another pattern. Can I hold this all in my hand like a deck of cards? <sighs> so what is this color? That's the mauve. What is our mauve called? Hold on. Moody mauve. Moody mauve. That's what it is. And the green. Maybe that's mossy meadow. I don't know. We'll see when we look at the bag. Pretty peacock. Oh, look at that copper. Copper with gold is so pretty, and then vanilla. All right, let's see what the other sides look like. Let's check it out, you ready? Oh, this is the picture side. I was all excited about the gold side. I'm still excited, but look at this scene. So you have sun coming through. Oh, look at that picture. It's so pretty. A sweater, oh, that's cute. Oh, trees from the top, that's really pretty. Nice wood. Mm. Oh, good. That's the moody mob side. Uh, blue, like, plush, like a sweatshirt. Ooh, I like the gourds. <gasps> the books! Oh, I love that. Now, wouldn't it be fun to make... Oh, the books are on the copper. Wouldn't it be fun to make bookmarks? You could make bookmarks with that. That would be very cute for, like, a book club. Some leaves. Ooh, a little leather chair or ottoman. Ooh, I like this one. Leaves and more books. That is pretty fun. Okay, so I like this paper. It is very nice. All right, I think I can leave it out. All right, so that is our autumn leaves. I don't know what it's called officially, but you know, your autumn leaves. Uh, sweet. I'm going to put some heavy stuff in my bag of things. All right, so we'll do our Halloween. Did I only get one Halloween set? I think I did but there was like another one I really liked oh I didn't buy it yet okay so we have a Halloween set for my Halloween friends okay and this is so funny one of the other reasons I had to get this is um my husband and I are going to Paris in October for our anniversary our anniversary is actually today but look at this okay so it says bonjour and there's a beret and there's a little bow tie and I think there's a mustache I saw it Where's the mustache? Oh, here it is. Look, the little neck scarf and a little mustache that you can stamp on your cute little skeleton. This one is um, photopolymer. You get the one skeleton guy, plus you get this pile of legs and arms and arm bones, and so you can make your own little skeletons. The other thing I thought that was so super cute is the dog and the cat. The dog and the cat. Yes, Jean, the catalog did not do that autumn paper justice. That's what Jean said. The catalog, you can't, and looking at it online, oh, the catalog's better, but a video is next best. And then in person is really, really nice. But Bag of Bones, happy Halloween, no bones about it, your sweet friend. Eat, shriek, and be scary. I like that one. Boo to you. So I thought this was just adorable. And then they made the dies. Mm, that light thing. Let's take it out of the thing. Same thing. You got your full skeleton. You got your cat. You got your dog. You got your leg bones. 
your hats. Oh my gosh, there's a cowboy hat. That's like a toy soldier hat, maybe. Um, your fence. Look at that cute little fence. Couldn't you use that for a bunch of other things? What is this, like an entrance to a crypt, maybe? <laughs> That's so funny. Your, your moon. Look at the little tiny bones. Your bats, your shoes. Your Oh, look, your um, walking stick and your bow tie, your cowboy boots. It is super cute. It is super cute. Thank you, Carol. Thank you for the anniversary wishes. So I did post a picture on my um, Facebook and Instagram um, with it's got, you know, one of those where there's four or five pictures on it. So it's kind of fun. Um, yeah, very cute. All right. I got to go this way now with it because it's not going to fit. Hold on. All right. What else do we got in this? There are glow in the dark little ghosties. Oh, and bats. And bats. Look at that. And they're kind of iridescent, too. But I think it said they glow in the dark. And then there is this glow in the dark paper, which I will not be able to show you how it works right now, but I will figure it out. I'm wondering, it's most of the glow in the dark stuff, you know, you have to have it in light, and then you turn the lights off, and it'll glow. But how many sheets of this are in here? Eight. So eight glow in the dark sheets. So I think it would be super fun just to cut out a bunch of bones with it and you know oh you could do a shaker card with a bunch of little bones in there that might be really fun so glow in the dark paper oops there's some christmas paper under here all right and then let's look at the designer series paper hold on my box is getting in a disarray <laughs> okay those can go back in there yeah all right so this is like in the um the Cheerful Daisies paper we have where you can cut these out to just make quick card fronts. <laughs> Creep it real. That's adorable. That is adorable. Okay, so we have that one. See, and so your dies will be able to cut out these animals if you want. That is very cute. I like spooky fun. Spooky fun, like the whole like Disney not so scary Mickey party. I'm going to that in September for work. How awesome is that? Um, it is super cute. I like spooky fun. I just don't like spooky, spooky, really scary. Oh, I love, look, they're dancing. They're, look at that, oh my gosh, she's adorable. Look, they are so cute. They are just dancing and having a grand old time. Oh, look at that. This is one of those where you can cut it and you get your six card fronts. Creep it real, that's cute. And hold on, there's one more. And just some blue stripey. So in case you're like, eh, I don't need any more Halloween-y stuff, you use that blue stripey. All right, ready? Let's flip it over. <gasps> so nice. So we've got cute little bats and moons. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look close. So it's herringbone. But they're either cats or, I think they're bats. They gave them little faces. How cute is that? Oh, and this is little bones. Oh, that's so cute. In a lot of the samples, they use this plaid. So now this could totally, these... Two, you could take these with your fall crafting and they don't even have to be Halloween-y. Those are beautiful. And then this one says Boo Eek. Is that all? Boo Eek. Yep, Boo and Eek all over it. Super, super cute. All right. All right, so we'll show you some more. Okay, how long? Are we? We're at 38 minutes. Oh, apparently I bought an hour's worth of stuff. Oh, well. Let's get a drink of water. Hi, Dawn. Oh, you lost power. I was wondering. We did not lose any power here in Urbana. Um, but yeah, we were under like a tornado and a intense thunderstorm watch. But we got a pretty big storm, but it wasn't, it wasn't so bad here. All right, this paper, there is a whole suite to it. I did not get it. Um, it's called Mary Bold and Bright, but I really wanted the paper. I might go back and get the gems and the ribbons. The stamp set is cute. It may possibly fall into my cart in the next month or so. We'll see. All right. So this is your bold, bright colors. So the stamp is bigger um, of these little lights. There's two kinds of lights. Look at that, rainbow polka dots. You could totally use this for birthday cards or you know, congratulations cards. Same thing, stripey rainbow. This does not have to say Christmas. What I like about this is, so what I try to do is I craft Christmas until December, right? And then all of December's cards, I try to use the Christmas paper, but in a different way. And this paper will do that. All right, so let's see what's on the other side. Oop, there's, oh, look at that nice stripes. Those are nice. I don't even know what's on the other side. Ah, so the other side is really your Christmas side. 
besides the light. So you've got, oh, I love this. Look at all the different tree styles. Fun stars, falalas, stripies, and polka dots. So it's very fun and it is definitely merry and bright. Oh, I like this one. This is in blues and greens. I don't know if you can tell that. Blues and greens. Good. Ooh, and Emily had a beautiful rainbow after the storm. Ooh, so nice. Okay, what do we got? I think I've got, here's my pile of what's left. And then there's one more big suite at the very end that I will show you. And I think it was my next top one. Okay, so we'll do this little pile. All right, Abundant Beauty. So these are, what do you call these? Masks, decorative masks. Um, in the Maker's Mojo, which you can still get after the live. You can still buy it. It's $45. Jo Blackman, she's from the UK. She did a whole tutorial on how to use masks and different ways to use masks. She had some really, really cool ideas. And so then I saw these and I had to get them. So the number one is I love sunflowers. You can build your sunflower scene with your blending brushes. I know I got that little circle on there with each different color and each different piece. And there are notches so you know where to line them up. So I don't know what you would do. Maybe you'd put a mark on your paper and know that it had to go in that little notch. I don't think it's gonna be hard. I think it's pretty easy, but I think they're super pretty. And then there are two, no, three others. One would just all, oh, I am totally teaching blending brushes with this next week. Hey. B, welcome. Oh, from Georgia. Oh, how fun. I am totally, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And snowflakes. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I didn't even know there were snowflakes. And then the herringbone. <laughs> it's a little bat herringbone, but it'll just look like herringbone. So if you like your blending brushes, you want to get a little more artistic, this will be fun. I am definitely teaching. I'll teach these next week. Because, you know, I, I'm gonna figure it out first this time. Sometimes I don't figure it out. Sometimes we learn together. Okay, it's not going to go back in on the fly, but I'm going to see if I can um, make a sample and then I can show you how to use these. Does the dyes to the Marish trees work on the Walk in the Forest DSP? I forgot to get the Walk in the Forest DSP. There's a, you know how sometimes Stampin' Up does a, um, a stamp set or a paper or a thing where they donate some money to a charity. I forgot. It didn't even make it on my list. So... I don't know. So if somebody knows the answer to B's question, feel free to ask. She wants to know if the Mary's Trees, Mary's Trees, which I showed you. Which one is Mary's Trees? Oh, that's Forever Forests. You know what? I think it does. I think I remember from seeing the picture. So the one that I really liked with the nice tree outlines, that one. I bet it will work with the designer series paper. All right. Stamp and Cut and Emboss. I got this cute little mini um, folder. It's Cheery Patterns. There's two. I got it because I like the polka dots. I like the waves. Now, this would be really good for your beachy cards. It's, let's see. There we go. It makes little, little lines, but it could also look like snow. And then I thought this one was cute. It's just circles. It's just circles. So, regular little embossing folders. This was definitely one of those I kept trying, like, no, I don't need that yet. Oh, I don't need that yet, but it was so pretty. So look, this is definitely, it's a thermos. I don't even use a thermos like this. I don't even camp, but how cute is this? And I think you could just make the prettiest cards. All of these little images can go on your thermos. Um, and there's a thanks and a get well soon. You warm my heart. And that sun is so pretty. And the little mountain scene and this little mountain scene. And it is a photopolymer set. It's so funny, some of them are so small when you open them up. But then you can play with the dies. You can play with the dies and you can make your thermos. You can put plaid or herringbones on it. These, look, how cute are those for your teeny tiny little greetings in this set, but then there could also be other sets. I, it's hard to see, but it fits that perfectly. Ah, uh, what is this? I bet this makes like a little, I don't know. We'll try it out. I feel like it's like a little handle. Um, so there's dies for all of the things and there's the little cup. I don't know. I just thought it was so cute that it definitely jumped in my cart. Okay, so warmest heart. You might need a little warmest heart. All right, and then 
there's more trees. There's more trees. But this tree has a gondola. Um, and look, it has mountains. And it has, you can build a gondola without stamping if you want. Or you can build your gondola and stamp it up. These sentiments are, let's adventure together. Oh, I love that. Um, here's to a season of wonder and cheer. Oh, I just love the, the greetings. I like this kind of avant-garde little tree and it has its little die to cut it out. There's the line so you can make the gondola go up the hill. There's some little snowflakes. There's a little thing. Look, the little trolley for the gondola. I mean, it's full scale. And this is a photopolymer stamp set. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. Okay. And now, oh, I was going to say I was on the last thing, but I got one more thing, the second to the last. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to open this. I'm going to order another one. This is going to be, um, so with the Maker's Mojo, we do prizes for different drawings and different things. And I'm going to send this as a prize, Garden Walk DSP. So I can't open it because I don't, I want it to be fresh for the person. Um, that's why I threw that in there last. All right. So my last one is one of these big, big, big sweets. Okay. Let me say, let me make sure I got it. Okay. Yes, I do have it all. Okay. Let me move this out of the way. All right. So this one, it, it called to me. Number one, we have vanilla and black gingham ribbon. Super soft. It's, I think it's, oh no, it's wider than our, hold on. Well, here, I got a piece here. That'll be easier to show you. So it's wider than the black and white one we have in the annual catalog. And it's just a bigger print. It's just a bigger print. It's so pretty. And it's super soft. It's super nice. I will be ordering mini rolls of this. There are loose holly gems and sequins. There's music notes in there. There are, oh, little, like, yeah, like little gems. Oh, little leaves. I don't know. I guess a shaker card. I guess using it as little accents. It was just really pretty. All right, we have two stamp sets with dies. This one, we'll talk about this one in a second. It was this one. This is the one that did it for me. Beautiful. So there's not a lot of um, images. Hold on. Get it out of the hotlights. Deck the halls, peace on earth, tidings of comfort and joy. The small words that you can put things together. Season's greeting to you and yours. Christmas. This is, this is, this is it. This is why. It was so beautiful. Photopolymer. It'll go everywhere you need it to go. And then this is super cool. There are a lot of dies. This one so cool and different little levels so you can put those sentiments on there look at this outline one and the little square oh, so pretty so i really was liking that and then in the whole suite it also included oh, i love that song the first noel <laughs> a little noel also photopolymer this comes out as one but watch this this will die cut out the letters individually. So you could do them in a row. You don't have to do them in the four square if you don't want to. Um, they're a little extra shrubbery, shrub <laughs> a little extra pine leaves. Um, making spirits bright. This is pretty for a quick coloring. Two from, so you can make tags. I just thought that was really pretty. And this, yeah, that's photopolymer. All right, so that was a super, super cute set. And then there are two papers, so let's look at this paper. I don't know if I'm that keen on that one. I don't know. It's not like it's ugly or anything. It's pretty, but hopefully I'm excited about what that. But this, look at that. Cute little kind of plaidish gingham look. Let's see if I can get this. This one I like. Maybe it's because it's smaller versus the big, but you might like the big versus the small. And that's what's fun about craft things is that they can be different, and we don't all have to agree. Look at that, just nice little greenery. So this one's very traditional. Ooh, that makes my eyes hurt just a little bit. It's a little bit, it's not super squared up, both of these plaids. Oh, I like that one with all the little berries. Is that the last one? Yes. All right, now let's flip it over. Oh, so just nice general. We got green, oh, we got music notes and music notes in the two colors. 
some more red, and then two really nice kind of like wood prints. Oh, okay, I do love my, um, what am I trying to say? I love the lighting for showing you guys paper. It's not great for the stamp sets, but I love this. Oh, so that is so pretty. And what are those colors? Cherry Cobbler, Old Olive, Pecan Pie, Pebbled Path, Real Red, and Shaded Spruce. All right, and then the last pack, the last pack. I think I'm gonna like this one. I like a little little foil, a little sparkle. So this is Cherry Cobbler and Shaded Spruce. Ooh, ooh, I wanna get straight to that one. Look at that paper. And these are one-sided. Hopefully we get two of each. Yes, so you get two. You got music notes. Ooh, you got some gold wood and some green plaid. So that's really, really pretty. So your nice traditional set. I think that is super fun. So two kinds of paper, two kinds of stamp sets, your ribbon and your gems. And we did it. And okay, so it was only 51 minutes of products from my pre-order. Let me switch the screen here. All right, so there you go. That's what I know. <laughs> um, so I hope that helps inspire you. Remember, if you're a customer, September 6th, you can start ordering these products. Um, I am definitely trying to plan um, some just cards, Christmas cards classes to have um, in September, October, November, maybe even the beginning of December. We'll see. Um, hopefully September. Cross my fingers. We'll see if I can work it out. Um, what else? If you are a demo, you can order these things now. If you're not a demo, of course, you can always join my team at any time. And then you can get those demo perks of a discount of at least 20% and you can order. Um, I'm Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi. Give me the likes, give me the loves, give me the comments. Let me know that you're watching. And I appreciate you um, being part of my crafty world.